Well, we are back at the Goodwill today. It is a dreary, rainy day, but we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wine Lady and welcome to my channel. I walked in and it looks like everybody is stocking. There's fresh carts everywhere. This is crazy. This looks really nice. Kind of like the looks of this guy up here. Now there's some damage on it though. Over here, abalone shell. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. bucks. Hmm. I love the detail on this mug. Colors are fantastic. I think it might be turkey, but um, the stickers are kind of covering it up. This is kind of a fun jar. <laughs> the steaks is upside down. Nice quality cafe. We serve great coffee. You know what? This is kind of cool. I had talked a little bit in my video about how we are going to uh, maybe set up like a little coffee bar at the new house. And uh, I kind of like this. I think it's contemporary. Checking it over for damage. There is some splitting. But it's only $4.99. <laughs> Just smack my camera. Um, it's only $4.99. So I think I'm going to grab that. So they are pretty much restocking every single aisle. I think there's three or four employees right now um, working on the shelves. I'm trying to stay out of their way uh, while still seeing what I can find. Um, so I'm skipping around the aisles today just a little bit. Looks like some of these frogs disappeared from when the last time I was here. These pillar candles have uh, pansies on them. I like them for their decorative quality. But I'm not really sure what their resale value would be. This looks like decorative use only. <laughs> it doesn't actually say that though. There's a cat box. There's a cat painted on it. It's more contemporary. It's $1.99. Mm. I like it though for $1.99. Under this scale is another one of those aquarium lights that Ashton loves. This was actually the style that he saw and wanted. And like I said, they were like $45 on eBay. So this one is only $4.99. I don't know if it works, but for $4.99, I'll pick that up for him. What is that? Oh, that's, oh, that's a hairdryer. Okay. Here are some plates. The other day when I was here, these were actually on the cart. I think one or two of you had commented that those are actually worth money, and I didn't realize that. These ones are the last remaining, though, and they're all chipped up, so somebody got the good ones. That looks like a cat food dish or something to that effect. There is a cat on it, so in fact, I think that it is a cat food dish. It's $2.99. I like the grandma. Look, there's even a mouse on there. That's kind of nice. At first I thought maybe it was a hobbyist piece, and it still might be a hobbyist piece, but it's very nicely painted. With the mice on there. $2.99. What is this creature? Oh, it's one of those solar lights. $4.99. Hard to say whether or not it works because we're indoors and it is raining out anyway. I like that, but it's $4.99. I feel like you could probably buy that off of Amazon. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. $6.99. <laughs> that is so fun. It does appear like something's wrong there though. That would be a fun one to put in Juliet's new room. I can't tell if that's a basset hound or not. It's $1.99. <laughs> yeah, it's super cute, but I'm telling myself, you don't need an ornament. <laughs> there is some sort of little pocket, Runzel, 1987. Or maybe it's for a 
I don't know. I think it's a holder of some sort to hang by the door. The contrast on those mugs is nice. It's $2.99, the blue and the pink. They smack them together. <laughs> Just not sure I need any more mugs. Love potion. There's a few of those as well. I like the looks of this artwork down here. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to get it out and take a closer look. It looks like a puppy dog, or no, that's a cat and a quilt on a um, on a laundry line. I'm gonna pull it out. All right, so that's probably not something that I want or need. If it was just a single of these prints, maybe I would take it. But all four of them together, eh. here's one half of the praying hands. That's half a point. No, that is plastic. <laughs> what do we have in the back? And those are plastic as well. They're working really hard today to get all the shelves organized and it's looking great. I'm not sure how long it'll stay this way, but <laughs> you can actually see everything. And I thought maybe those were Dorothy Thorpe silver bands, but they're pretty worn out. This shelf here recently became the artwork shelf. There, there are a few artwork shelves, but this was Valentine's Day for a little while, and now it's switched over. You've changed. I'd hope so. <laughs> Looks like somebody cut out a tapestry and glued it to a board. Appears as though it's Pioneer Woman. It is Pioneer Woman for $4.99. I know you can still buy some of this at Walmart, but I know a lot of it is discontinued. I like the covered dish. I don't usually pick it up. Oh, that looks like a Christmas tree as well, so maybe this is a Christmas pattern of some sort. We'll give that a shot. So I stepped aside and I did a quick search on Pioneer Woman and it looks like this sold for $35 back in February. So I think that makes it worthwhile. I didn't see any others that went higher than that. That's kind of a, gives me an idea for what it will sell for. I've seen these metal cars before. I have them at $4.99 each. I don't remember them selling terribly well, but I know there is value in those. I'm <laughs> not sure what those are supposed to be, besides Frozen. I feel like I looked at this one of the other times we were here, but it was turned around and I didn't realize it had all these florals on it. It's pretty janky looking though. Looks like this Pyrex is sitting here, $3.99. That's the wheat pattern. It's got some wear on it and it looks like there is damage to the lid. Some nice florals on there. $4.99. I think this is a more contemporary piece though. There's some chipping on the corners. No mixed feelings about that one. Seems like everything today wants to be on the bottom shelves. There are some hand painted china plates. Fin blade Germany. I don't know, those patterns aren't extremely exciting to me. I'm actually going to see what's underneath them. What is that? Those are made in Italy. Like they've got some age to them, but you can see all around the edge where the flowers have chipped. All right, well, I think I'm gonna head up towards the checkout with everything that I found today, and I'll catch up with you guys in the car. Okay, well, our total spend there at the Goodwill was $28. I feel like that Pioneer Woman candy dish. I'm assuming it's a candy dish. We'll pay for the whole thing once it sells. So that's great because I bought a few things um, that we're going to probably use in the new house. So I am at the next Goodwill. I am in Ephrata. I've stopped here twice in the past two weeks. And both times I've found something or a few things worthwhile. So I figured why not stop again. Now the parking lot is full. I had to park around the side of the building because every parking spot was full. Hopefully it's not too crowded in there. But we're going to head in and find out. 
Here's some pink depression glass. It's got a silver overlay on it. Silver overlay is in pretty good shape, but unfortunately, I don't see this having a very high resale value. What do we have? By, oh, cutting board. It's labeled, so you know what it is. The cat's meow are still here, and I never did look those up like I said I was going to. Oh my gosh, here's one of those grinders. Uh, close to Thanksgiving, our family always makes cranberry relish with one of these sausage grinders. This looks like it could be a soap dish. Favorite things. I like the butterfly design on that. Here's an interesting looking piece. This must be a hobbyist piece. It's marked LP399. I love the design of it though with those leaves on it. It does have a little bit of a chip there though and in an effort to be a little bit more selective, I think I will leave it. Here is some green spongeware. There are actually two pieces. This one looks like a crock. Three Rivers Pottery. And this looks like a Vin to Table made in China, Teleflora. Here's a sweet little figurine. I believe this is made in Japan. I'm checking it over to see if there's any damage. I kind of like her for $1.99. I don't see anything wrong with her. Hmm. All right. Wooden stars. Here is a pie plate. I saw this tile on the shelf, and it is Steve de Perrault, a handmade in lettuce. I've uh, had and sold the lamps before that he makes. A lot of the times they have like leaf imprints on them, very fall themed. This one appears to be Christmas themed because you can see there is a Christmas tree there in the window, and it's only $2.99. Hmm. All right. Here they have an entire aisle dedicated to crafting. There's a ton of yarn, oh, some prints. This bag was turned around on the shelf. I saw it from behind and I thought, you know what? That looks like it could be something. And it is actually Brahmin, which is crazy. And I was looking at getting a new purse. The strap off from the Louis Vuitton broke. And uh, one of the purses I was actually looking at was Brahmin to replace it. So now I don't have to buy one. They're pretty spendy. Brand new. It might be worth checking out the other <laughs> purses here. Seeing if there's anything else. There is a fanny pack. <laughs> Here's a box purse. I think that might be something contemporary though. I'm having a hard time opening it. Yeah, there's nothing really great about that. And there's a crystal on that one. I missed that. Here's this guy, Nine West. And back here, this feels like real leather. What is that? Oh, it's good. Eh, it's not that bad. What is it, salmon? Watermarsh Valley. Hmm, it feels like real leather. Alright, so the last section I'm going to check is this clear section. There's some old bottles. It looks like a Coca-Cola. York PA. I want $2.99 for both of them. Andrew's been selling a lot of Coca-Cola out of his booth. Well, I should say his case over at, um... I mean, this is a Carlisle bottle. What's that? Andrew Kerr. Yeah, we've bought one of those before. I think he sold it, too. $2.99 on those. Looks like some nice stemware. $6.99 on those. They have a gold band. One of them is pretty worn out. I like that they put them in bags and they don't actually try to uh, tape them all together. Those 
sounds like a little worse for wear, but I think maybe those ones, eh, you know what? They're worse than I thought when I turned the bag around. I'm gonna leave them. This here looks interesting. I like the sepia colors of it. It is signed there in the corner. It doesn't look to be original though. I don't know, I don't really see brush strokes. So I think I'll pass. Oh my gosh, look behind it. That's super fun. <laughs> Trick or treat. It's a Halloween uh, cross stitch. And here is an Easter cross stitch with bunnies on it. Looks like they're staining on that one though. Here is a bag of wood I just found on the bottom shelf. There is a shorebird in there, but he's missing his peg. If there's anything else down here on the bottom shelf, like what is in this box? What does it say? Eamon Glass, hand engraved Ireland. I've seen that before and I don't think it does very well. This looks like Home Co. I usually find those in sets. That has a vintage look to it. All right, well, I think I'm probably gonna head up towards the checkout now. All right, well, our total spend there was right around $28. And I feel like we got some neat stuff. I'm very excited about that Brahmin handbag. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to resell it. Uh, the bottles will sell for a few bucks in our booth. And the tile, the tile was worth probably 25 to $35. So that was really great. I am now at the next Goodwill, but I'm going to cut you guys off here and you're going to have to stay tuned here in a couple of days for this adventure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Julia, are you getting all the eggs? I got the eggs. That's too easy. <laughs> There's your brother over there. <laughs> That's way too easy. I like when you have to look for them. Will you send for the little kids? You're probably the only kid who can reach it. <laughs> yeah, Max. <laughs> I think you guys found them all. <laughs> How many do you have? Let me see. Holy smokes, you're gonna eat all that candy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're still looking. You're the only kid looking. Did you notice? <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter! Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.